that taste and uh, uh, but more, more consistency. I find I found it interesting when we opened the bottle of the Witz, which was bottled in seventy three or seventy four. Yeah. But we opened it in September of twenty twenty, I think, after the yeah. COVID summer. Yeah. And then it was interesting for me, I think, as a, as a reference because I and my brother we tasted it and it tasted like ah this is like an outer an old bottle of a Gears of Boon. And of yeah. course your reaction was built because of course I based on <laughs> this what is he style, did. Yeah, yeah. This is a style. <laughs> this is of course a style. Yeah. But it, it was interesting to taste after a bottle of almost 50 years old, which was kept in... in uh, but this is what I so learned from so René yeah. and from the other old Gears blenders. If you make a, a Gears, uh, basically you have to work with mellow, with, yeah. with delicate lambic. Mm -hmm. And then you add some lactic like this in the right balance. And in both of these beers, there is some acidic acid, which is the, the second acid in, in beer, but it should be absent. Yeah? It means that at a, a very low level, it is uh, accepted, but you, you should be really absent as, as a dominant uh, acidity. That's how, how you make a fine bottle of gears. First class, and then they learn me second class is if you make gears with this. It's okay, but then you bite it and a lot of of guys will say give me a lump uh, give me lump of sugar and i add some one or two Lumps. piece of sugar which which we don't like <laughs> at all but okay some guys will do it or some, some women maybe will do it and then there is of course the third quality there is acetic juice which is mainly acetic acid mm -hmm. that tastes like vinegar that is normally uh, not considered as, as quality yeah mm -hmm. normally it's considered as a flaw and the lambics that are acid like that, they are normally only used to blend into faro. Let's say that is for 5 or 10 percent into faro, which makes it uh, another acidity balance. Then you could get more into a balance like, like the balance of uh, the Flanders uh, red ales. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, and then you have a balance of about acidic acid and sugar or residual sugar or added sugar. Uh, another balance but it's not typical for goose you can find some in faro but not, should not be in goose if it's involved in goose uh, how does it come it has nothing to do with spontaneous fermentation acetic acid is just an infection in, in, in any brewery or a winery it comes in summertime when you have a little flies going around mm -hmm. they carry acetic acid bacteria on their feet and they go from one cast to another they infect, they infect the beer and then, yeah, once that the cask has acetic acid, it's nearly impossible to yeah. get it out of, of the cask. Mm -hmm. So we don't have it in our uh, folders, but we always have a few old uh, casks uh, to have such a beer. Small uh, casks. Small casks for, uh, for blending to when we need it for faro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is, this is zero point. Uh, we only have it on purpose. On pur yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh,